All right, I got the trusses yesterday. I went and picked them up myself. Saved a couple hundred bucks. Pretty simple. Uh, they loaded them for me and helped me tie them down. No big deal. It couldn't weigh more than a thousand, maybe 1,200 pounds at the most. You saw the tractor pick it up without any trouble. So today, I've got to cut the, uh, what do they call it, eaves drip or uh, the metal edging. So I'm just taking my oscillating tool. I'll show you. This little guy right here with a metal blade on it, metal cutting blade, and just slide this piece of stainless steel in between the shingles and the eaves drip, and it cuts right through it. That eaves drip's aluminum, so it just rips right through it. So once I get that off, I can take the fascia board off and then uh, see what I have to nail to there and uh, get that first truss up and uh, see how it looks. Hopefully it fits. All right, it's day number two with the trusses. Uh, they came in early. I got them about three weeks earlier than I expected, so getting to work off. <clears throat> I got four of them up already. Uh, I'll show you guys. I got two regular trusses left and then the, the gable end truss. Go ahead and put these last two up. Uh, show you guys how I do it. And so far, it's been going pretty good I'm using the old boom pole here on the tractor. And I'm putting in uh, some blocking up top there. I'm just pre-cutting those, uh, 22 and 3 8 and uh, nailing them in on one side. And then when I stand the truss up, I just get it centered up where it needs to be and uh, nail it off up there. And then I'm uh, toe screwing down here uh, on both ends. So let's get you set up and see how it goes. It hadn't been windy all day until I decided to show you all this, so hopefully it'll be all right. We'll see.
that's start to finish putting up a truss. Man, is it hot. Anyway, I still have more blocking to do up there. Connect everything to it with some diagonal bracing. But yeah, it's working out pretty good. So I'm gonna let the hook down and get one more up. layout's different on this last one um, because of the uneven number of feet for the seven trusses. So the last one is in between, so it's like 17 inches in the center, but it's not going to affect anything as far as sheeting goes. So let me go recut this uh, blocking for the top. Ooh, I hear thunder. I better hurry. about to rain so I'm gonna cut it off.
Coming along, trying to get the rest of the sheathing up on the corners uh, so I can connect the sheathing from the wall up to the, the gable truss up there. So all the trusses are done. I got a little bit more blocking to do, uh, just a couple pieces at the top. Uh, try to get the uh, tails cut. And I gotta build the, uh, after I get the, the gable end sheeted, I gotta build the ladder for the overhang. That's gotta go over the top of the sheathing. <clears throat> so yeah, get these corners finished up. Turned out pretty nice. Yeah, I found that's the easiest way to cut those is with a router. <clears throat> Using this uh, quarter inch bit with a ball bearing on it <clears throat> and it just rides on the material. You gotta have an edge for it to ride on, but it cuts really nice, nice and clean. All right, I'll go ahead and get this corner done. I gotta leave me a little opening here so I can access it until I actually cut a hole in the house. So I'm gonna go ahead and get this corner ready to go on and try and knock it out today. All right, I had to get the uh, the roof covered up uh, with my big tarp. We're expecting rain all week. So I'm trying to keep this thing dry. Uh, hopefully next weekend we can do the roof sheathing and get it dried in officially. But today I'm working on finishing up the, the sheathing on the gable end. You can see how it overlaps from the gable down to the framed wall. So I, I got done, let's see here, from this corner up to the peak and now I'm starting down the other side. I just got two more pieces, but I've about had it for today. I'm gonna get the tarp pulled down and clamped in place and uh, clean this mess up and uh, go edit a video. So thanks again for watching Projects with Paul and we'll see you soon.